Just Seen It is made possible by Adobe and the Adobe Creative Cloud, including Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and After Effects. More information is available at bit.ly slash Adobe PTV. Toby is a blue collar mechanic trying to save his business. After a disastrous street race, Dino frames Toby for manslaughter. We'll settle this behind the wheel. Fresh out of prison, Toby seeks to right a wrong in Need for Speed. Hi, I'm Aaron and I'm here with Zoriana and Jamie. And today we're here to talk about the new film starring Aaron Paul, Need for Speed. We've all just seen it. Jamie, you got a look on your face. Like I'm, I'm ready gonna, to go, I'm, I'm ready to go. Sad. Listen, what I was pleasantly surprised about and I was worried going to this movie was, is there a story? Is there a narrative? Is there something that I can get behind? Are there characters that I'm gonna be interested in watching? And there were. Um, the film is written by George and John Gantis. I thought that it had a really strong story. I got behind it, I enjoyed it, I liked the characters. This has to be some of the laziest genre writing that I've seen in 10 years. Yeah, there is a, a sense of schmalk in this, you know, there a is- A sense of schmalk? <laughs> no, absolutely, but it's tongue in cheek, and I mean, it's fun, it's just, you know, and, and cars, that, it's please. American. And you're guys, not an American, that's I'm the problem. American. No, you're not, you don't purchase. like America. Guys, let's, when you need the cops to show up, they're there. When you don't need them there, the streets are devoid of any cops. It hits the required it, story points yeah. in order to make it a coherent, yes. fun film. Is yeah. it like the Fast and the Furious film? Films? Is it like, uh, you know, d did I have a feeling of bullet, of drive, of these uh, uh, smoking the bandit, cannonball run? I do love having fun in fun movies, but I just couldn't get over how cripplingly bad this script was, how uninteresting all the characters were, how lazy this genre writing was. It doesn't save a movie to have cool car crashes in it and nothing else. All of these actors and actresses, including Aaron Paul, give good performances, Absolutely. but they are ensnared in weightless, trite, stupid dialogue that doesn't create it's interesting true. character. There's this scene where someone dies in a fiery crash and Aaron Paul is brought to his knees and he is yeah. devastated. He's but, crying and, and but, I was laughing you, and Zoriana yeah, was laughing. I, I, and that's I, I wasn't laughing. Problem. Listen, I mean, you want to talk about Aaron Paul's performance there. Okay, I, I'll give you, it was a little on the edge, but he I, can't do anything to push this movie into the next gear, no, but he does I, I, okay. But yeah, he, he, I think he's great in the movie. And one of the reasons um, this movie uh, works on a character level, not talking about the script, talking right. about the characters, is that he can act and he does bring it. And his chemistry with Imogen Poots is palpable. And unlike mm -hmm. the Fast and the Furious franchises whose love stories were a little bit bogus, right. no. this does have a romance aspect that will attract some of the yeah. women because you do root for this couple. They are in this car yeah. together. And if the chemistry wasn't there, it, it, it would have been, been, been over. And the performances made me like these characters. You see the bus, right? What's that? The bus! The bus, the bus, the bus! Go to now. <laughs> Looks like a scene out of speed down there. Hard left with three key out of... Oh, you mean that bus, bus, bus. You know, it's very interesting that this this type of genre, this type of action-heavy, uh, less acting, is what he chose to make his splash. Usually an actor like that, who's coming from a show with a lot of pedigree, might want to take on something to sh that would really showcase his acting chops. But this was a smart move in the sense of, this we want to be the action open, guy. We want to be the big guy. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's going to you know, be the, the Jeremy Renner born right, guy. He's right. going to be the young Liam Neeson yeah. in the Taken yeah. film. This like is, he's this is the, establishing yeah. his feature film persona. You always trying to play me. Tell me you believe I can fly an Apache helicopter. Get him for that he wants! Yeah, you can fly an Apache helicopter. And my handle is Maverick. Got to call me Maverick. Let me hear it. Maverick! 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 It was fun, it was frivolous. It was cars doing things that cars can't yes. do. And the yes. fact it was, that it was no CGI was great. That's the only watchable yeah, the, the, aspect that, of the that, film. The directing wise, that practical was great. Yeah. Scott Wall, uh, who did Act of Valor and was a longtime stuntman. Everything is practical. You're behind the car. You're going as fast as the car's going. There's the grasshopper scene where he jumps over a medium of sure. a highway. That was yeah. awesome. The Apache hellicopter, they jump a canyon with the help of no, Apache. No, it was cool. It's ridiculously yes. awesome. It's, 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 
entertainment awesome. value. Listen, if you were back in 2000 reviewing Fast and the Furious, you'd say the same thing about Fast and Furious, but now you're looking at those movies and, you know. Sure, the, Fast and the Furious really did set it. the bar for this, this type of action where each of those movies had to top the previous sure. one. The director right. did a great job yep. yes. making this movie Absolutely. by insisting that nothing be CGI, yeah. by insisting that the actors know their stunts, by really putting you inside that action, much like a video game should be. This is mm -hmm. going to be one of the few successful video games to feature films. That the, that genre has not had a really good track no, record. It has. So the movie, thanks to the director who comes from a stunt background, yep. he did a good job bringing this movie to fruition. Fans of the Fast and Furious franchise and this genre in general will really enjoy this film. I say see it. Fans of fast cars and those who are curious to see if Aaron Paul can transition to the big screen will really enjoy this movie. Me personally, not so much. So I'm gonna split the difference and say stream it. Unfortunately, this movie fails to cross the finish line. If your need for speed is so dire that you have to go see this movie, I'll forgive you, but for everyone else, it's a skip it. Well, our votes add up to one and a half tickets, so that is a stream it for Need for Speed. Cheers. Cheers. And as Goose and Maverick once said, I got a need, a need for speed. If you can't follow the plot, man, boy, you're, you're dumber than I thought. <laughs> AJA Video Systems, proud supporter of Just Seen It, offers a wide range of professional acquisition and post-production solutions. Learn more at AJA.com PTV.